breaking the game. But with 12 year, 12 year olds. So basically, it, I find it quite funny how a bunch of 12 year olds can just join a game and have no bad intentions for anything. They just want to play a game and have some fun. But then they just start to do some random shit like shoot up an orphanage. Or attempt to blow it up. But then they accidentally figure out how to do a glitch. Basically, the first time we did it, we just put the respawn thing like right here. And it worked somehow. But that's a lot more difficult than the one that we are going to show you. It's basically... Yeah, as Jacob is demonstrating right now, you need to use this. Uh, the respawn anchor, as I like to call it. And, um, you just have to put it, like, right here, as I'm going to demonstrate right now. So now that it's done charging, you just go right here, like, uh, do what I'm doing. You have to put it exactly here, that makes it the easiest, right there, as far as you can. But that should be good. And then you just go and warp home. And you've officially snapped the game in half like a twig, but it gets worse. As my friend Jacob is about to demonstrate, you can just do that one more time right here. And just to prove there's an invisible barrier, you can just start to fly, basically. Uh, and he's in the forest now. You're not meant to be there, to say the least. And yet... <laughs> yeah, that's one thing I'm about to show you really soon. But, um... Yeah, I love how you can just start to fly. Not just like light levitating, just like flying. But uh, one thing that I do like is that um, just to prove that these little guys can go right through boundaries. There's a boundary right here, as you know. You can just uh, walk right through that. You know, you can do that all the time. And then, why don't you just go down to hell itself? <laughs> yeah and now let me demonstrate put it right there that might not work actually try to put it like right there as close as you can do it at least and then you warp home as I demonstrated earlier and I did it okay all right so there's not a lot of limits it's actually quite easy if you do that exact strategy but just to show that why you're not meant to be here one if you walk like one step you will immediately go out of bounds. And also you can see through stuff, which is obviously not meant to happen. And there's floating trees. Oh, and that happens as well. But um, let me continue to explore this funny area. This is not out of boundaries. So basically, I'm pretty sure there's like water here. So no, no, there's cement there, there's cement there. But uh, basically, just go right through it. You know, no barriers kind of style. And, uh, yeah. Just... But on the but on the zombie side, it's actually a different... It's kind of a different story, you see. So I'm gonna swap to zombie now. Because that's all you could... That's all you really need to see as a plant. It's slightly different. Not very different. But there are some slight changes to the zombie that make it a bit different. Alright? Like, um... As I'm going to demonstrate in a second... So, we're here now, and, uh, the zombie is a little bit different, you see. It's the same- <laughs> Alright, let's do it again! We're back again. Alright, as I was- d Don't you diddly do it. Alright, so as I was explaining before someone ruinedly interrupted, you put it in the exact same spot. So basically the first part is the exact same, except there's something a little bit different that I'm about to show you. So, you know, Jesus. Let's try this. I can't even get out. Alright, so... Let's try that one more time. We're back a again, again. All right. 
Hi. One second. <laughs> okay, now that, that issue has been dealt with. Let's try this one more time. You already know this step. So, you're, you've broken the game. But then you go over here. And as you know, as the plant, you cannot do that. But as a zombie, there are apparently a lot less barriers. But uh, there's actually one difference that kind of makes up for it. Here. As I'm gonna say. I guess I will be showing you that in just a second then. We're back again, again, again. So, he was told to shut the fluff up and stop doing the naughty, naughty Baka things. So, die. Gavin d took care of the trash. Alright. So, you already. <laughs> yeah, apparently you can just start teleporting in this area as well, I guess. Plus, that's just loud, which probably is. Oh, god. Yeah, it's definitely lag. Alright. There we go. Woo! As I was trying to show you earlier, you can just go right through this. But the downside is, you actually <laughs> cannot jump up there, but you can do this. Which sounds really funny. But, uh, yeah. So, that's the difference with the zombie and everything. <laughs> I'm looking at that. So, uh, basically, thanks for watching. And, uh, bye.